Um, some of these um, inner MT2 the spindle tapers have been damaged and then I try to restore them at least I can say improve them by well I have some surplus uh, MT2 shank uh, cutters or drills whatever and then I have bought first I bought the grinding compound uh, set from China but then this is from uh, the Ukraine actually and there's a set of um, well grinding compound uh, these are just uh, dry this is 150 grit and up to 1200 I think that's the finest Yeah, so all together a set of five here, quite cheap. And I at least think that I don't do any damage because it was, some of these um, spindles are quite worn. So I try to just at least lap them into a little bit improved so that I don't have the, the marks in, inside. And of course I have used a, a reamer first to take off the high spots so we'll test them afterwards to see the fit and finish with a, a test um, bar and the proper way of doing things is of course to send them off for grinding but these are I mean I call it trial efforts then with the home amateur means So the drill in, in question will of course then be uh, lapped to fit this but, and also probably then uh, at least not improved uh, for use in a normal situation. We'll see. I just grabbed one. I have several. And proof that this is working is that I've uh, entered further in and of course this is uh, following the bore it, it had so uh, in the hope that this will not be in any way altered not seeing really much use of the the inner taper here anyway but um, yeah we'll see this is just trial effort and I'm using um, cutting oil just uh, regular cheap cutting oil as a let's say an aid here well it looks a bit better at least in the start there but uh, still some uh, smaller stripes left So trying the fit with the blued up and um, see there is a band here uh, the inner part has not touched and a little bit less on the actual outer part also 